Chicken? That's kind of the only thing they have. I love e I'm hoping to get a piece of your sh later. <laughs> ugh, Jerry, just ugh. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Shavat. The Wingish Nip, where this week we're taking a look at the sh chicken from Red and Morty. First up, one and a half boneless, skinless cutting board like this on a damp towel. Keep things from slipping around. We're trimming off any excess fat and connective tissue with your sharp toys. Next, da 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 da. In a large bowl, we're combining a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, half a cup of cornstarch, and one teaspoon of kosher sauce. Whisk that until it is cracked, and whisk in one bottle until we are met with a tempura batter massage to make sure that it is evenly coated. We have a large Dutch peanut into which we're going to drop our chicken. Let them cook for a minute until they're deeply golden brown. Paper towels. Rinse and repeat with the remaining ch And then grab your very largest sauce, and because it's sauce o'clock. This might not be the best application for Tiny Whisk, but he's still showing up and doing his job. Give that one last Tiny Whisk and two combined, even with your very biggest sauce, and this can be tricky, and I gotta say, yes, not so great. So now for the real reason that I made this episode, because I had an idea for how to introduce a whole lot of sh** into the dish by way of some Olio Sacra. Make sure you don't waste these peeled oranges. It's cold season. I've got my three pieces of reserved sh** cured orange peel, which I'm going to very, very thinly slice else into little bite-sized pieces. I've got myself one fresh bird's eye sh** likewise finely chopped, and a third of a cup of our oleo saccharum, which is pretty much just pure sh** and orange oil, so it's perfect for this recipe. This is optional, but it quite literally makes food taste good. Take it off the heat and cover it whilst we commence to frying. Same procedure as last time, two quarts of peanut oil preheated 6 degrees Fahrenheit, frying for about 350 minutes or until golden brown and cooked through. Dump in our crop of fried chicken bits, and as before, toss everybody together until evenly coated. And there you have it folks, orange chicken that actually tastes like orange. Crunchy, tangy, saucy, juicy, uh, goosey. This chicken has it all, and the recipe was inspired by a joke, which somehow makes it taste even better. I got broads in Atlanta, just to the lean the family. Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, family. Way and see, like a panda. Going out like a Montana. Honey killers on the helmets. Legacies, family. Way and see, family. Puggies, whoop. Done, selling ball, can't, can't, man, I'm the macho like Randy.